Since the Synthwave Dante video came out, we've had a mountain of comments. Okay, it's like five. Asking if we could do the same scheme without an airbrush. Hell yeah, you can. I am I am Black Rama, White Xenophil, and... Okay, I lied. There's an airbrush, but not for anything fancy, just base coats. And now is magically blue, but you know how to base coat things. Starting things off with magenta, dry brushing is going to be 90% of the workhorse on this one. We're using all downstrokes for this one, and that's to establish a little bit of direction. We want it to look like the magenta is coming from above while keeping all of the undercarriage blue. While we're not aiming for a glow effect, that's kind of the idea that we're using. The next step is smoothing out some of the transitions. Now we're going to glaze this with our same magenta thinned down very, very heavily, about the consistency of milk. This is going to blend our colors together and make the armor look silky smooth. Now I'm going through with a lighter pink and just going to hit some of the areas that the light would be hitting. I'm also using it to exaggerate some of the shapes. Using that pink and the same magenta as before, I'm going to create a 50-50 mix and paint a slightly darker line next to our exaggerated line. This is going to help us out because we're going back to glazing and that pink was a pretty bold jump. Having that darker line gives us a mid-ground to play with between the pink and the magenta. While the pink and magenta are the hero of our tale, we can't forget the blue. A simple edge highlight will give us a little bit more detail and a little character. Now we're really going to start to bring this whole model together by painting in the details. Now the little armor joints, I've just taken deep sea blue and added a little ice yellow in there for the highlights. For all the iconography of wings and skulls and even the bolter, I'm using Vallejo's blue green. And to highlight these areas, I've just mixed a little bit of AK Interactive's white into that same blue-green. To add a little bit more interest and really give it that synth wave pop, I'm going to pick out a few areas and start painting them white. After that, I'm going in with the Imperial Fist Contrast Yellow. This thing is bright as balls. After that, Rust Orange from Two Thin Coats is going to start picking out and fade, and we're going to end that fade with Magenta. Touch of white for the highlights and Chef's Kiss. For the hair, I started with boar hide, and I'm going to be building this up in a similar way that we did the lioness's hair, a platinum blonde. Skeleton Legion is our mid-tone here, and then I started picking out some of the individual strands with vampire fang, and then a little bit of ice yellow to give it some of that golden life to it. For the face, I'm really taking advantage of the blue and magenta that's already on there and I'm going over with Toothin Coat's Dwarven Skin and leaving as much of the darkness and colour in the recess as possible. All the highlights were then that same Dwarven Flesh mixed with Vampire Fang. As always, a huge thank you to our sponsors in games and also a massive thank you to our Patreons, the Prismatic Heretics. I hope this finally answers the question of can you paint Synthwave without an airbrush and you 100% can. And the cool thing is all of these techniques are transferable so you don't even have to use this color palette. If you think we've earned a subscribe go ahead and hit that bell, hit that button and we'll see you next time.